Hey everybody, Jeff here, and what if KO never killed Reyna in the Radiant Wars? I think this question has way more ramifications to the total story of Valorant if he never won that battle with the infamous leader of the Radiance. This is a new what if series, and I think it'd be really cool to start making videos about like potential like theoretical scenarios, like what if this happened or what if this didn't happen in Valorant's lore. Like I'm sure we could come up with some crazy scenarios of Valorant's lore, like what if Jet never detonated the spike in Venice, or what if Chamber never destroyed the large radiant collider on fracture and so on if you have any interesting ideas for like what if topics for videos drop them in the comments below and if i use your idea for a video i will definitely make sure to credit you with all that out of the way let's dive into this really crazy idea so what if ko never killed reyna in the radiant wars and reyna was actually the one to kill ko well before we even get into what would happen we need to catch ourselves up on the radiant wars for anyone who doesn't really know exactly what happened in valorant's lore so the Radiant Wars is a conflict where in an alternate universe, at least 200 years in the future, but possibly much more than that, Radiance rose to power to overthrow humanity. Now this conflict or war is not something that is 100% going to happen in our timeline, Alpha Earth. Since Valorant's lore has a multiverse and a mirrorverse, this happened well into the future in another universe. We don't know exactly why the Radiants did start an army and nearly were successful in wiping out humanity. It could be a number of reasons, ranging from they were feeling threatened by humans and felt that they needed to attack, they felt that their Radiant race was superior and wanted to rid the planet of the inferior race like humans, or they were provoked in some way. Like I said, we don't know why they started the conflict. If they did start it, possibly the humans are the one that started it. It could be that the very existence of Kingdom's anti yield program was enough to make Radiance paranoid enough to initiate the war. After all, the anti-yield program was meant to build super weapons that specifically nullified Radiant powers like KO. But in our Alpha Earth timeline, Kingdom's anti-yield program was never started. We have evidence from this in Fade's dossier to KO when she was the blackmailer. It's likely that the war was ongoing for a very, very long time. So much so that the sheer amount of destruction and just chaos seems to totally wipe out cities and change the atmosphere to a dark hazy red the radiance that we know of that were in the ranks of reyna's army were sky astra sage jet and phoenix while the other familiar faces we know of on the human side of the war was brimstone who likely led the army but not confirmed along with sova and of course ko that's it for the human side we know that it's likely jet died during the war and there are some hints that ko killed astra as well unfortunately though reyna did end up killing brimstone in that timeline which was like a brother to ko since they were very best friends ko turned around and ended the conflict once and for all when he killed empress reyna in the last ditch effort to save humanity he left his universe in search of others in the past to ensure a radiant uprising never happens again he made his way to our universe via the teleporter on breeze in the meridian and joined the valorant protocol Whew, man i'm sorry guys that took a long time to explain it but i just wanted to catch everyone up in case you didn't know or didn't watch my hour and a half long entire valorant storyline video i just posted too that explains a lot about the radiant wars so what if during that epic fight between the last of humanity and everything the radiant army stood for reyna won Instead of KO killing that Reyna and heading to our universe, he died right there in that battle. So many things would be different in Valorant's lore because of this. First of all, in that timeline, humanity would 100% become extinct or enslaved and the Radiance would rule that world. KO would have never came to our Alpha Earth and joined the Valorant Protocol, Fade may have never joined Valorant and Warm Up may have never happened either, as well as VP likely would have been exposed to the public. Let's talk about Fade never joining because it's a very interesting topic in this scenario. As I'm sure you all know, Fade was the blackmailer against the Valorant Protocol before she got recruited. The VP sent a strike team of Sova, Breach, Chamber, Neon, Cypher, and of course, KO to apprehend Fade. It looks like that Fade was just playing with the Valorant Protocol and super easily was on her way out of escaping from the warehouse. After all, she simultaneously got inside every one of their minds before running away if she really wanted to guys she could have just easily killed all of them on the strike team as she was incapacitating them guys it would have been really really easy for fade to kill every single one of them on the strike team because you know as they were incapacitated with nightmare you know looming around in their head and like on the ground she could have just walked up and put a bullet in each one of their heads so to say that fade was like playing with them and like wanted to keep them alive is a very true thing but if she wanted to kill them she definitely could have as fade was running outside of the warehouse 
KO makes the coolest entrance in Valorant by far with jumping out of the Vulture and popping Snow Command Ultimate in front of Fade, which left Fade virtually powerless. And that is the only reason why they apprehended Fade that day. If KO wasn't there, Fade would have never been caught. Would Fade have killed the other agents there? I'm not so sure. I don't think so because it seemed like Fade wanted to either get caught or toy with the VP in order to find out if they have the man she cares about. Does that mean though that Fade never joins the Valorant Protocol because she never got interrogated by Cypher, which built the trust between the two? Could be. I also believe that if the conflict between Fade and the VP raged on for any further, she would have leaked out everything she knew about them to the public, which would have massive, massive lore altering events that would follow. The city citizens of earth would have been infuriated that they were lied to for a few years now about what actually happened they would feel like they couldn't trust their world leaders anymore and certainly not trust the kingdom or valorant for that matter so one can only dream about what would happen if the kingdom lost all support from the public and valorant was forced to disband possibly if anyone here watching follows overwatch lore it could be like that scenario where world leaders essentially forced overwatch to break apart well that's what happened at least as far as i know i'm not the best with overwatch lore i guess the the only thing that would probably save the Valorant Protocol from being forced to disband would be that there is still an active threat of Omega Earth with the Valorant Legion trying to steal Radiant from us. So in a way, I'm sure the people of Earth would be pissed, but they also would hopefully know that they would need to be defended by them as well. All that because KO was never there to catch Fade, which means Cypher never interrogated her to gain her trust and eventually Fade leaking Valorant to the public. All because Reyna killed KO in the Radiant Wars timeline. Let's now talk about warm up and how the events that happened there there would be altered as well. So if you really want to think about it, guys, maybe the events of warm up would have never happened. Think about it. KO would have never been there to sassily egg Phoenix on saying that he got the same score as the rest of us. Don't forget, he also put the idea into Killjoys and Raze's head with saying, how about a game where the robot fights back? That means Maxbot would have never been whipped up by the two engineers and that epic fight between them wouldn't have taken place. One could argue also that maybe Phoenix's character development wouldn't have advanced a step further either because Phoenix was the one who came up with the idea for everyone to team up in beating Maxbot. He very well could be the same type of person we saw before the events of warm-up, where he was like the cocky solo type agent that really didn't feel like teamwork was essential. Oh yeah, and also just a little side note, guys. If warm-up never happens, then the little video of it that plays when Neon enters her room in her trailer for the first time wouldn't be there. Probably something else would have popped up, but yeah, it wouldn't have been warm-up. Now, I posted a tweet asking people about any other ideas that they think would have happened if Reyna killed KO, and I got an interesting response from Definitely Dark, which he says, Radiance kill all humans and take over the world then radiance realized they wanted more then started killing humans on other planets. I don't know if Radiant Wars happened on Omega or Alpha or both. So Radiant Wars happened in an alternate universe. But this is super interesting to think about because it could be true. Obviously, they would have to work on their own planet first and rebuild it because of the total destruction that happened there because of the wars. But once they do, who says that they won't go out into other universes and wipe out humanity there as well? What if they'd want to form a multi-universal Radiant Army aimed at ridding the entire freaking universe of humans? Okay, so obviously that is a very dark and like kind of far-fetched theory to think about, but you can't deny it's a pretty fun theory. Like what if each universe was like a branch in the army with the main head of the army still being the original Empress Reyna? As you guys can tell, I'm such a nerd when it comes to this. Well, everyone, I think that's the main things that would happen if Reyna killed KO in the Radiant Wars. I'm sure I missed a few things here and there, so if you have any other ideas on what would have happened, happened in this scenario share them in the comments below oh yeah and don't forget guys if you want to see this what if series like actually you know happen and come to life you have to give me ideas with future what if videos in the comments below and remember guys if i do pick your idea for a video i will credit you thank you all so so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe notifications if you're new now with all that being said jippy out